Hey, what's up? All right, guys, this is going to be a great little thing that we can do here because um, I just got this Hamlin Tree Care and I haven't run, they haven't run any ads, they haven't done anything. So this is going to be a great case study for you guys to use from start to finish to kind of see where all the breakdowns come in between from me starting and then explaining all in betweens, okay? Now, um, if you're a newbie at this stuff, if you're brand new to any of this stuff, which I was a couple months ago, I didn't know nothing about um, Facebook ads, but now, you know, I understand it really, really, really well. So if you're in your ads manager, right, and usually if you create a page, you should be able to create an ad. And it'll say something like this, or in Facebook, it'll just say create an ad. Like you'll say like a green button, right? So you'll be able to pull up this ads manager. Some ads managers look funny, different than others. So I'm going to show you this. This one kind of looks a little funny. Do you see how it looks like this? And I don't know why that is. I think that's just maybe like the old uh, Facebook. Because look, if I show you a different one, a brand new one. I haven't done any ads on it either. It shows me a different kind of like uh, back side. You see how like that looks a lot different. It has more stuff going on in it and whatnot. And I, I, guess, yeah, I guess it's just Facebook, you know. So we're going to go through this one. Just, cause, just in case. The principles are still the same. The... Oh, the three things that we might use are still the same, okay? Video views, traffic, lead gen, and conversions, okay? Since we are first starting off on on a, a new campaign, and a new campaign is basically the overseer. Like, what is the whole, what do you want to do with Facebook ads, okay? And so that would be like, do you want to run traffic to your website? Do you want to see more people to see your website? Or do you want more people going through your website or getting getting your PDF, getting your seven day video series, getting um, access to your membership program, whatever it may be. Or you want to get more people visiting your store. So you'll set up um, your your campaign like that. That would be considered a campaign or the overseer, the umbrella of things. Okay. So we are going to start off with traffic. Just for whatever reason, you know. And then you want to name this, you know, whatever you want to name it, just put clicks to website. Uh, clicks to my website. All right, there we go. Okay, and you're going to come back to this a little bit later. Okay, and then, like, if you don't have any website or anything, I mean, you don't have any, like, conversions or anything like that, then don't op optimize for conversions. See what I mean there? So if you do set up a conversions campaign, which is the other one that I just showed you. This one. If you do set that up, you will be required to put um, a conversion reason. And I will show you guys how to do, how to set up conversions and custom conversions and standard events and all that good stuff later. But I want to explain to you guys, because you're brand new to this stuff, I want to explain to you guys kind of Facebook's backside and show you what's going on on it, okay? since this is a brand new uh, Facebook ad and they've never ran ads before. So we're going to go clicks to my website. Uh, and then the ad set is usually where all the bulk of the things will come in, like the, the targeting, where you put your ads, how much you're going to spend on ads, your budget, how much you're willing to spend on ads, and all the good stuff in between, okay? So this is where you will spend the bulk of your time and then on your ad copy, okay? Which basically copywriting or what you write or what you say to your potential clients customers or uh, leads right and if you set up a custom com uh, custom audience then you'll have it here but we don't have one and I'll teach you guys about custom audiences in another video but right now we're gonna use this one right here and uh, this this particular company is in Austin Texas, yay! So we get to we get to get people within 25 miles of Austin, Texas, and they are gonna get nurturing for their trees. So we're just gonna set up a basic campaign, basic everything will be basic, okay? Just so I could show you, you know, some of the stuff. You can select gender. This is where you can select. This is where real good stuff comes in. This is gold stuff. If you learn this uh, targeting thing, then you're pretty much just gonna knock it out of the park with with Facebook ads you just 
first and foremost, anything that has to do with successful Facebook ads is getting in front of the right people. Okay, so I'm going to target people that are homeowners. See, and then this is demographics. This basically means what Facebook tells, what Facebook thinks a person has. Someone that's on Facebook is potentially a homeowner by some of these things that they do, right? Right there. And then I would just put like uh, first time homeowner or whatever, Zillow or something. No, that's like, you know, someone that's wanting to buy a house, rent a house, whatever. And then it gives me an audience, right? Now I have 690,000 people that I can market to. And then you could save this. So you can save it. I'm not going to save it, but you can. And then automatic placements is recommended. But from what I've noticed and from what I've heard a lot of the Facebook advertisers talk about is that Instagram and Audience Network aren't, aren't like really that good you'll spend a lot of money not really doing much with them and look it turns down 20,000 people but I've spent a couple thousand dollars in Facebook ads and I've noticed that if I have something on there I probably get like one or two or three or four leads from either or as compared to I'll get 70 from straight Facebook mobile and desktop so I would stay just with this okay for now your daily budget uh, you could start off like at five bucks a day unless Facebook changes that and I would recommend that just so you can kind of see what's going on with your audience see if the audience is liking your message seeing if your audience is um, relating back with you okay so that's budget and schedule you can either set a budget or you can sell a lifetime budget okay and you can start it off you know I want to start it off today at this time and I don't want to look back at my ad for the next couple of weeks and I never recommend doing that because you always have to be tweaking, you gotta be um, doing something to it. Okay? Well, yeah, so I would do daily budget and just kind of like keep an eye on it for a couple of days and then go back. And then you wanna run it continuously. You don't wanna start it and stop it and, and no, don't do that. So I never mess with this thing. I, I usually just keep link clicks because that's what I chose. Your bid amount, this is what Facebook tells you. This is what Facebook, uh, what we tell Facebook, like what we're willing to spend to acquire a customer. So, and it's just like um, some of the biggest markers out there in the world, they, they, they say this and they say this all the time, is that the company that's willing to spend more to acquire a customer is always going to win. And the truth is the same. If you're willing to spend more on Facebook ads, Facebook's going to get like really smart and say, well, you know what, let's put these guys or these girls in front of their ideal customers because they're gonna spend more money with us so let's do that so right here I'll give you a suggested and we're above that suggested so then we'll just leave it there okay you'll get charged link clicks we'll get charged for the link clicks uh, it's gonna sell all the time all the time ba 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 oh. oh since I I set up a manual thing I have to do a per, per day but if I set it up automatic then I could set it up five dollars. See it? Boom. So if you set up a, a custom bid, then um, you have to set up a, what what they require minimum that they require. Now this is where you're gonna go. You can use video ads to clicks. You can use slideshows, canvas. I don't know what that is. Um, carousel ads. You can use any of those to start off. Or you can use an existing post if you post a lot on your Facebook page and you get good engagement about it. Okay, so we will, you can even use Facebook stock images. All right, I'm just going to look because they're doing a tree service. I'll just look for trees. All right. And, and look, so it says six. Let me show you real quick before I go any further. It says six, okay? So this, Facebook will automatically start to uh, get really good at putting whichever picture resonates better with your ideal customers, right? And you can choose up to six, so that's already split, that's already six ads that you created just with different images, okay? 
you could just let that run and just see what what the audience likes best with the picture you never know though you never know so test 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 don't think you know don't think that you know uh, that this is a cute image so you have my you might have some insight but you will never know unless you test it so it's always always test it okay right there and then this is where like your ads are not directly connected to your your um, your page okay you have to make it as so okay and then you can add one right here if you've never created one you can create one right it maybe takes like two seconds to do one so you could just put this and then you just want to put whatever whatever create the page and it's done but since I already have pages set up I might as well just use the one that's already up alright so oh uh, Hamlin tree okay there we go and then I'll just put like whatever I'll just put whatever right here see and then it kind of shows you right here on your right hand side now I'm on my on my laptop so you can kind of see um, what I'm doing showing you guys kind of like what I'm doing and seeing what it looks like on someone else's desktop if you want to see what it looks like on your phone you can go right here see that or you can just press this right thing see, it'll show you right there what it looks like and then if you put text on it it changes headline will come up right there okay I'll just put like hello what's up so, see, it pops up right there. If you put text, it's gonna appear above. Check out this cool tree and little girl putting putting something on the tree, and then you just like insert link. Or you just put this link on there. You just put like insert link. Now, I'm not going to teach you right here in this particular video how to do Facebook ads, you know, how to talk to them and whatnot. This is more of a teaching on this stuff right here, okay? And so, that's it, man. That's that's all it is. Newsfeed, link description. Uh, you don't need to know the tags. You don't know the description. is basically what's going to come out under there. Hi. Hey, again. And it won't pop up on the mobile. Mobile. It'll pop up on the on the um, on the desktop. And then if you want the link to change, you'll put the different link right there. So if I wanted to change it, put it right there. See? And then I haven't created a pixel. Okay. So in the next video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to create this pixel, how to install it, and everything, and and so on and so forth. Okay. And I can place the order without the pixel. But I never want you guys to do something without a Facebook Ads Pixel. You will spend less money with Facebook Ads Pixels. You will be able to retarget, remarket, re find your customers and just keep banging out some Facebook Ads to them until they buy your stuff or just completely hate you where they're just like, quit showing me your stuff. I don't want to see it. That, that's pretty much what you're going to run into with this Facebook Ads Pixel. And you want that problem. You want those problems. It's, rather, it's better to be known than to be unknown okay so in the next video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to set up the Facebook pixel and uh, from this point forward okay